Good evening everyone. This is Vrishali. In previous sessions, we discussed about software development life cycle and different software models with examples. I have mentioned complete software engineering subject playlist link in below description box. Now, in today's session, we will discuss about the next important model that is spiral model. Let's start the session. In today's session, we will discuss about introduction, phases, when to use spiral model and their advantages and disadvantages. Let's see all these points one by one. Now, the first point is what exactly spiral model? Spiral model initially developed by the scientist Bohem in 1986. Spiral model which is also called as meta model and spiral model generally used in large project and the project which have lots of risk and the problem. This is a main area where spiral model have used. That's why this spiral model is also called as risk driven software development process model. Spiral model is a combination of waterfall, iterative and prototyping model. We already discussed these three models in detail in previous sessions. From waterfall model, it take a step by step development approach. From iterative model, it take a customer feedback taken approach. And from prototyping model, it take first develop prototype and then actual development have started this kind of approach. Next, spiral model generally used in different gaming industry. For online gaming, it required lots of customer interaction and lots of risk is there. Next, in Microsoft and operating system versions, for example, Windows 7, Windows 8 and after that Windows 10, 11. So there is an incremental approach. They solve disadvantages and risk in previous approach from the next versions, right? So in this particular field, spiral model have used. See here, in this particular diagram, spiral model have divided into the four parts. First planning, second risk analysis, third engineering and execution and fourth one evaluation. Let discuss in detail. Now see here, this is an actual structure diagram of spiral model. Here, this particular line indicate a spiral or iterations and it start with this inner point. This is the starting point and this starting point indicate the first phase that is planning phase. In planning phase, there is a communication between customers and the project head. Project head collect all the requirements from the customer. What is the need of customer and what exactly customer want. After that system analyzed, analyze all these requirements and they decide estimated cost schedule and required resources of the project. Now, after collecting all these requirements in the planning phase, it moved to next that is risk analysis phase. This is the second phase. See, spiral model generally used in large project like ISTRO, NASA. So in that particular phase, lots of risk, problems and security related issues is there, right? That's why risk analysis is the most important phase in spiral model. Here, the first thing is they identify all the potential risk. The risk related to the technical risk, software and hardware related risk, or there is a risk in problem statement in data. So they collect all these types of risk. Next, they find out the solution for solving this kind of risk or the problem. So this solution is planned in risk mitigation strategy documentation. After that, they develop a prototype. So prototype also used for solving the risk before starting the actual development. First, they develop the prototype. Prototype is just a replica of your actual software development. So here they develop a prototype next. Now, after developing a prototype, it moved to next phase that is engineering and execution. So here actual development have started first. Designer design the product as per the final prototype or the requirement. Developer perform actual coding by using different programming languages. Tester perform testing by using different testing methods. They check whether the project is related to the customer requirements or not. And last one, after design, coding and testing, they deploy the product to the customer environment. So this is a third part. Now after deploy, it moved to next one that is customer evaluation. So in this fourth part, they take a feedback from customer 
and if customer want any changes it move to next spiral iteration means it moves to next one that is again planning again risk analysis again engineering and execution and again they take a evaluation means second spiral iteration is there again they check if there are customer want any suggestions or customer have any needs so they they again move to planning risk analysis engineering and execution and evaluation in this way means if customer want any changes it move to next spiral iteration so the spiral iteration increases means cost of the project increases and spiral iteration is just one iteration is there means after one iteration customer doesn't want any changes customer are satisfied means their project cost is less clear so this is called a spiral model now when to use spiral model the first when the project is large and high project project is there second here customer requirements are unclear and complex customer requirements that's why customer requirements are continuously changing is there the important thing is here risk evaluation is there suppose the particular project having lots of risk so at that time spiral model have used here they create a prototype for solving the risk problem and also there is a no deadline of the project because if customer requirements are continuously changing so there is a no deadline there is a spiral goes to in infinite loop clear so in this way spiral model have used now the advantages of spiral model the first important advantages is they identify risk and solve the particular risk in particular project so this risk parts are first developed and then actual development have started this is the most important advantage spiral model generally used in large and mission critical projects here after the complete development customer feedback have taken so customer interaction is also a most important advantage and customer requirements are continuously changing not a fixed requirements is there and they also create a prototype for creating the prototype it solve all the errors in prototype clear so these are the advantages now the last one is disadvantages of spiral model the most important disadvantages is here for risk analysis purpose it required highly particular expertise that's only risk analysis and risk problems have solved it is a very costly model that's why it doesn't work for smaller projects and spiral model sometimes goes to complex mode because there is a continuously changing requirements and spiral may go to infinite mode that's why and there is a large number of spiral stages means there is a complex documentations have created so these are the disadvantages of spiral model so this is all about spiral model thank you keep learning